Hey guys, go grab yourself a cup of your favorite tea because it is tea time and today I'm going to be talking about something that's maybe a little bit of a TMI tea time. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about contraception. So as always, I'm gonna start by kind of saying some general thoughts on the topic and then I'll answer some of you guys' questions that you send me through Instagram. Yeah, let's just get started at the beginning. I have always been very against the use of unnecessary medicine. I always prefer to go through all the natural stuff like healthy food and herbs and stuff like that before I reach for kind of conventional medicine. <laughs> In the Netherlands, uh, it is very common for young girls to start the contraceptive pill at a very young age. I'd say at age around 14, 15, 16 is when um, many, many girls will be on the contraceptive pill. I didn't want that. It is very easily prescribed in the Netherlands. I personally think it's prescribed a little bit too quickly. It gets prescribed for acne problems, uh, to be able to regulate menstruation. So not even for girls that are sexually active. It's, it's just prescribed to young girls a lot, very easily. I've always felt very opposed to the pill, contraceptive pill, and I always knew I didn't want to use it. As a contraceptive, I just... I'm a very clumsy person and I just know that I will forget to take it, you know, and it just it just wouldn't be good for me. So when I uh, first became sexually active, I used condoms and I was quite happy with that. But there was this part of me that was always scared that something went wrong or it tore or just, you know, you never know what, what may happen. And you, you always hear all these kind of horror stories about people using condoms and still getting pregnant. Uh, with my anxiety on top of that, I would pretty much get panic attacks every time before I would get my period um, or, you know, when my period would be a couple of days late. I'd, I'd immediately think I was pregnant. I was not ready to be pregnant at all. So I started looking into more fail-proof um, methods of contraception. I pretty much figured out that hormonal contraception is the most fail-safe method, but I still I still didn't want to go on the pill. So I um, did some research and then in the end I arrived at the uh, NuvaRing. So I have been using the NuvaRing for a couple of years now. I'm pretty sure I started using it when I was 19 or 20. In case you don't know what that is, it is a ring, a plastic ring that is inserted vaginally and it releases uh, small doses of hormones just locally where they need to be. And it has pretty much the same effect as the contraceptive pill, but it doesn't affect the rest of your body as much as taking a hormonal pill orally would. So I feel like it's kind of a milder version of hormonal contraception. Plus you only have to use one ring per cycle so you insert it then you wear it for three weeks and then you take it out and you have your um you have your period for a week then you insert a new one and the whole cycle starts again so you don't have to worry about it you don't have to think about taking something every day um and there are no doctors involved because iud is also an option but i am <laughs> terrified of doctors and hospitals and needles and anything other people doing stuff to my body it just terrifies me and I didn't want to do that to myself. So this is a very safe um, kind of non-invasive option that I was really drawn to. So I discussed it with my doctor and um, she prescribed me the new ring and I've been using it for a couple of years now. Another thing why I chose this over the contraceptive pill is that I've heard that you can get a lot of side effects from that like mood swings and you know weight gain stuff like that supposedly those are a lot less severe when you use the NuvaRing. I'm still not happy um, about using hormonal contraceptives and I would like to use them for as little uh, of an amount of time as possible in kind of the span of my life. Like I mentioned Dutch girls get prescribed this really early and they often use it for like 20 years in a row and it's just so much time to be putting hormones into your body. So I've kind of told myself that as soon as it would not be a complete disaster, should I fall pregnant um, anymore, then I will consider switching to more natural kind of methods of contraception. My personal kind of limit is when I have been using the NuvaRing for 10 years and I would just have to stop using it because I that's kind of like my limit that I've set to myself. So this is my situation at the moment. Now I have gotten some really interesting specific questions from you guys so let me just answer some of them. Oh this is an interesting one. I'm from the United States and the government is constantly trying to make access to contraception very difficult. What is the general Dutch view towards contraception? Is there a struggle like there is in the US or is it more of a widely accepted thing? I am 
so so proud of this country we literally get handed condoms in high school sex education is very normal and kind of light-hearted and openly discussed here it no it's not a problem for anybody um in fact i got my first sex education in elementary school i believe when i was around 11 or 12 years old is when we got the first one then we got another round in high school when we were 12 13 14 around that age and it is very thorough <laughs> very specific you get told everything i have heard that in the united states boys and girls get separated that is so strange to me I, I just cannot get my head around that like why would you do that girls learn about all the boy stuff the boys learn about all the girl stuff everybody knows how a period works and stuff like that how what well, how everything looks from the outside and the inside what you need to do in order to have sex and to have safe sex and also very important how to say that you are not ready to have sex yet and how to decline and kind of um just consent is discussed and everything is discussed so openly and so well in schools here and we have very very good sex education here so i am very happy with that oh and also on top of this the availability of contraception is amazing as well contraception uh, especially the hormonal kind like the pill and stuff like that are covered by insurances by health insurance for all girls under the age of 21 or 23 I'm not entirely sure then when you're older you can still get it covered by insurance if you get like a certain type of insurance like I mentioned you just go to a doctor and they will prescribe it anything they will discuss with you the different options and like which one's best for you um, there's nothing to be embarrassed about everyone's very just kind of casual about it condoms are available in drugstores every single drugstore you enter you will find condoms there and also you will find the uh, morning after pill in every drugstore i believe the netherlands have one of the lowest if not the lowest teen pregnancy rates in the world so yes i am very very happy with that what are the non-hormonal and highly effective contraception options you have in the netherlands i'm pretty sure we have the same one as the ones as the rest of the world we just have the iud and that's pretty much it yeah except for condoms and of course sterilization <laughs> depending on what you use as contraception are there any reliable natural contraceptives what are your experiences so far well that this is something that i'm not entirely sure about i am pretty sure that nothing that is natural enough for me is reliable enough for me <laughs> um yeah that is why i resorted to kind of a mild hormonal contraceptive in the end could you talk about iud yeah it is something that i considered um it is where you get this little copper uh thingy inserted into you i'm not entirely sure where it sits actually i'm not sure if it's in your uterus but in any case it gets inserted into your vagina a doctor needs to do it it is said to be quite painful um but it kind of prevents pregnancy from happening i considered it but i decided to not go for it because i'm scared of hospital situations and also you when they insert it it sits there for five or ten years i believe yeah i just i just wasn't really comfortable with that what do you think is the best way to teach kids about contraception do you think it's the responsibility of the parents or the school and at what age is it appropriate just want to know your thoughts ideally i think parents should talk about it in kind of like a comfortable home environment before it's talked about in schools but i know that there are many parents who have difficulties with this who maybe aren't fully educated on this topic themselves or uh, who just aren't very uncomfortable or who culturally don't want to talk about it and in that case i do think school should take over because this is such an important topic as far as age goes like i mentioned um i had my first sex education at the age 11 or 12 something like that and i think that is actually a good age first of all because people get sexually active at very different ages i know some some people started having sex not very long after that and second of all i think it's just good for a kid to know what's going on that stuff like this exists and how to kind of deal with it safely and properly in your life especially nowadays when children have internet you know if information is available everywhere I, I don't think trying to protect children from sex is the way to go about it i think giving them the means to deal with it and kind of experience everything in a safe and proper way is much better and then of course you can tell them that it's preferable to kind of wait a little bit longer and wait for the right person and stuff like that but maybe that's more of a talk for parents and kind of the technical stuff should be discussed in schools i don't know i think i think it's okay if it's discussed in both if you use birth control pills did it change your moods and or sex drive well sex drive not really i haven't really noticed any changes in that but my mood <laughs> oh my gosh i remember feeling like i had constant pms for about three months 
It was terrible. I was extremely moody. I cried every single day. It was just terrible. But then looking back, I am not really able to tell if it was the contraceptive exclusively because it was, it kind of coincided with a period in my life where I wasn't in a good place. It was a very difficult time for me and I was feeling down already. But I may have been feeling more down because I just started the contraceptive. I do remember I felt terrible, um, but I'm not entirely sure if it was just the contraceptive. And it did go away. I have felt just normal after those first three months. What do you believe needs to change about the way we teach students in high school about contraception? I go to a Catholic high school and their attitude is always abstinence first. Oh man, this is not the way to go about it, I think. you. When you look at the statistics, the countries that teach abstinence have so much higher teen pregnancy rates than the countries that are very open about their sex education. Teens are gonna have sex anyway, so it is so much better to just teach them how to do it safely than to um, have them be really secretive about it, you know? It is always better, I think, when a child just kind of tells their parents that they want to have sex, or that they are, they have a boyfriend, you know, and they're sexually active, and the parent can then kind of like openly discuss the measures that need to be taken um, to the child then the children kind of being afraid of talking about it and doing it secretly and then ending up pregnant or um, with an STD or just you know it's always better to talk about it openly. I couldn't help but wonder why there are still no contraceptives for men. Can you talk about your opinion on that? Shouldn't there be more research into effective and reversible contraception for men as well as women? Yes, I do think that they should maybe research contraceptives for men a little bit more. But on the other hand, I think even if they do come out with contraceptives for men, I am still going to keep using mine because if the guy makes a mistake, forgets to take his pill, I don't know, like just for example, or um, is a little bit negligent, whether it's intentionally or just completely unintentionally, it is still going to be your pregnancy and your problem. It sounds really harsh, but even when the man has full intentions of, you know, doing his taking his contraceptive um, well and kind of protecting you from this, then it's still, it can still happen and you are always going to be the one with the pregnancy and um, that is going to have to deal with it. On the one hand, yes, I think it would be fairer if men had contraceptives as well. But on the other hand, I do understand why they're mostly geared towards women. All right, guys, so I'm gonna stop here. I've been talking for quite a while now. Uh, I would love, love, love to read a discussion in the comments below. So feel free to share your opinions on this. I live in a country where this is very kind of casual and open. So I, I would love to hear some kind of uh, contrasting opinions on that as well. Or if you do agree or just, just let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know what sex education is like where you live. I'm really curious about that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box. Thank you so much. Uh, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.